You are a math detective. A superhero of sorts who comes and saves the day when other people just can't figure out their math. You love your job and your unique caseload. And your latest case is no different. It's the case of Mad Millie's Meat Shop. It's a wonderful store to buy steaks, ribs, bacon, sausage, you name it. And when you first got the call about a problem there, you jumped on the opportunity. They have great pepperoni there. And this case might be best to solve directly on site. <laughs> you were contacted by Jim, one of the employees at Millie's, who says that most of the employees are underpaid and deserve a raise. But the owner, Millie, claims the employees already make too much, and she says she has math to back it up. So you agree to meet with Jim, insisting that you meet him at the shop. And once you arrive, you ask him for the facts, and for one of those pepperoni sticks to help you think. Jim hands you a pepperoni stick from his daily allowance, and it smells even more delicious than you were told, and then begins to tell you everyone's pay. You write it down carefully, all nine people in the company, including the managers. The meat shop worker's hourly pay is the following. The assistant manager makes $30 per hour, and the general manager makes $45 per hour. And Jim continues with his story. I recently met with the owner, Millie, and said that the majority of people only make $10 per hour, so everyone should get a raise. But Millie pointed out that the average employee, if you calculate it, actually makes almost $17 per hour. And I agreed that does sound pretty high, actually. But somehow, it still didn't seem fair. And being a bit stumped, I'm no math genius, that's when I decided to call you. Finishing the last bite of your second pepperoni stick, which somehow tasted even better than the first one, you managed to get the words out. Interesting situation you've got here, Jim. <clears throat> You're right in that most people make $10 per hour. There are three employees who make that. But Millie's also right. The average is almost $17 per hour. $16.89 to be exact. But there's average, and then there's average. And then there's average. You need to know all three so that you won't get tricked. Jim is totally confused. There are three kinds of averages, he asks? Reaching for your third pepperoni stick, you tell Jim your signature line. It's time to walk the path to some incredible math. You're still working on a catchier phrase, which basically means you're going to have to give a math lesson now, but it's all you've got so far. So now... It's time to show Jim some videos you recently made that explain averages. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. 